Um, this is a lesson on equations involving multiplication and division. Last day we looked at sub subtraction and addition, um, and we're just going to take it sort of a different direction, but sort of the same idea still. So, um, what it says is when solving problems involving multiplication and division, you always need to write an equation, but you can use one of three methods to help you solve the equation. So, um, the three methods are, you can use counters, you can draw a picture, or you could use mental math, so doing it in your head. Okay, so those are the three methods, and um, it won't necessarily work just to use one method for all of the problems. Um, some of them you'll be able to use mental math, some of them you'll need to draw a picture or use counters. They're sort of similar in that way. Okay, so um, those are the basics of the lesson. Um, Let's look at an example. Now, you don't really have to determine if you're sort of, well, I guess you sort of do have to determine if you're multiplying or dividing, um, but it's sort of, they sort of work uh, hand in hand. And you could do an equation that is multiplication or an equation that is division, um, just depending on where you put the numbers. But I guess you do need to understand if you're dividing numbers up in the question or if you're making multiples of groups. Okay. So, um, it says a group of friends ordered uh, 24 chicken nuggets. They divided the chicken nuggets equally, and each friend got six nuggets. How many friends were there? Okay, so I think that the easiest way for us to solve this one would be to um, draw a picture or use counters. Kind of the same thing. Now we know that each friend got six nuggets, so if we start drawing groups of six nuggets and then just count until we get to 24, we'll see how many friends there are. So, let's do that. Not sure that you can see that so well, so, so friend one will draw. Okay, so we need six nuggets. One, two, three, four, five, six nuggets. Then, we know we're not at 24 yet. So we'll do friend two. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six nuggets again. So we've got six and 12 nuggets so far. Um, next, we'll do friend. Oops, it's not how you spell friend. Friend three. Friend three also gets six nuggets. So this is six, 12, 18. Uh, we're still not at 24, so let's go friend 4 then. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's skip count by 6's. So 6, 12, 18, 24. Oh look, we found our 24 that we were looking for. Um, so that means that we have 4 friends. How many friends were there? You always answer in the form of a sentence when it's a problem. So there were four friends. And um, since this is patterns and equations unit, like I said, we always have to have an equation as well. And so that equation could look uh, a number of ways. We could either go, uh, we could go 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Or we could have wrote 6 times 4 equals 24. And those are the two logical ways. Um, this is probably the most logical, but you could go with this as well. Okay, so the next problem is one that you should try to do on your own. Um, it says Gustavo purchased three identical packages of socks. He now has 12 new pairs of socks. How many pairs of socks were in each of the packages of socks? So what you need to do is see if you can figure out if we are dividing the group, dividing a big group into smaller groups, or if we are uh, finding out uh, multiple groups of one thing. Okay. Um, once you finish, please unpause the video, and then we'll we'll go through it together. Okay. So you should have finished this now. So let's see how you did. So. Let's read it again. Gustavo purchased three identical packages of socks. So here's one, whoops, I guess I should put this, one important piece of information right there. 
He now has 12 new socks, new pairs of socks. How many pairs of socks were in each of the packages? So um, we're going to draw a picture for this one. So we know that he got three identical packages of socks. And he now has 12 pairs of socks. How many pairs of socks were in each of the packages? So what we are going to do is we know he has 12 pairs and that he got three packages to get those 12 pairs. So um, you may have done mental math if you know your multiplication really well, but um, if you don't, then this is a picture that you could draw. So we know that there's 12 pairs. So we start putting uh, one pair of sock per package until we get to 12. So, well, that'll represent a sock. So there's one sock, two socks, three socks, four socks, five socks, six socks, seven socks, eight socks, nine socks, 10 socks, 11 socks, and 12 socks. That's the number we were looking for. So if we wanted to know how many socks we're in each of the packages, we just look at one of the packages and count one, two, three, four pairs of socks. So we write four pairs of socks were in each package. And then we also have to do an equation. So we could either go 12 divided by 3 equals 4, or we could go 3 times 4 equals 12. Either one works. Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing. And this lesson is going to be all multiplication and division. So, so you're not going to be looking for adding and subtracting. You're just going to be determining if you are multiplying or dividing. So watch that language carefully. And uh, lesson is not on there again. Here we go. <laughs> so it's on page 24. And sorry about that. Um, you are going to do, sorry, where's my marker here? Number is one. Do two, and then you're going to skip three. You'll do five, six, and seven. So one to two, five to seven is your is your assignment. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. There you go.